Japan, right? When you collapsed on stage, um, I forgot where it was, but that, is that true? Would you ever? It was at the Arnold Classic. Uh, my heart stopped beating for a minute, for one for a minute, yeah. I was so dry, they couldn't even put the IV needle into my, in my veins. When it comes to bodybuilding, size is everything. And when it comes to size, few have ever been bigger than Paul Dillett. And Dillett was, without doubt, one of the biggest bodybuilders to ever grace the stage. Paul Dillett was born in Montreal to a French father and a Jamaican mother. Before he began his career in bodybuilding, Dillett played football in the Canadian Football League. However, his passion for bodybuilding soon took over, and he began competing in amateur competitions. Dillett burst onto the professional bodybuilding scene in 1991, making his debut at the North American Championships, where he held an impressive second in the heavyweight division. This early success was a sign of things to come, as Dillett's star continued to rise in the bodybuilding world. In 1993, Dillett made his first appearance at the prestigious Mr. Olympia competition, where he demonstrated his incredible physique and landed a respectable sixth place finish. That same year, he also competed in the Arnold Classic and the Ironman Pro Invitational, finishing in fourth place at both competitions. Dillett's exceptional physique distinguished him from his peers, and he earned the reputation of being one of the largest bodybuilders worldwide. In fact, he was nicknamed Freakenstein due to his remarkable size and muscularity. Nonetheless, fate had something unforeseen in store for him in 1994. Despite his phenomenal success in the fitness modeling industry, he almost died after collapsing on stage during the 1994 Arnold Classic competition. During his presentation on stage, Dillett's attempt to perform a double biceps pose resulted in muscle spasms, causing him immense pain. Despite his discomfort, he tried to reassure the crowd, stating, I'm not delirious or anything, it's just a muscle spasm. After some time, Dillett attempted the pose again, but this time the pain was unbearable. He let out a scream and collapsed, sending the audience into shock. Marshals and medics rushed to his aid, with some even jumping on stage to help. The 270-pound athlete was carried off the stage on a stretcher and rushed to the hospital. It was later revealed that Dillett had suffered from severe dehydration, which had caused his collapse. Dillett's condition was so critical that even the doctors struggled to find a suitable vein to administer treatment. However, when Dillett regained consciousness, he was astonished to learn that he had been unresponsive and had stopped breathing for a full minute, essentially dying for that one minute. During an interview with Generation Iron Fitness and Bodybuilding Network, Dillett spoke candidly about his harrowing experience. He stated, I came very close to losing my life. It was that bad. My heart stopped beating for a minute. One whole minute. Dillett went on to describe waking up in the hospital, where the doctors informed him that they had to revive him as he had been legally dead for one minute. The news left Dillett stunned, and he added, I don't think I was ever the same after that. The incident profoundly impacted Dillett physically and emotionally, and he was never quite the same after that traumatic event. Despite his brush with death, Dillett remained a formidable competitor, continuing to participate in bodybuilding competitions for another two decades. In 1996, he placed third in the Arnold Classic and sixth in Mr. Olympia that same year. The following year, Dillett made some progress, placing fifth in Mr. Olympia and sixth in the Arnold Classic. In 1999, he secured a victory at the International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness's Night of Champions event. However, despite his achievements, Dillett was unable to reach the pinnacle of the sport again in the 2000s. According to industry insiders, Dillett's posing routines may have been his Achilles heel, preventing him from placing higher in competitions throughout his career. Despite being a genetically gifted athlete of immense size, Dillett may not have fully mastered the nuances of posing, potentially costing him valuable points in competitions. Late into his competitive career, Dillett shifted his focus to promoting a different kind of fitness competition. In 2007, he founded the World Beauty Fitness and Fashion Competition, WBFF. Unlike traditional bodybuilding competitions, the WBFF judges contestants on their overall beauty and marketability, taking into account not only their physique, but also their stage presence. Dillett continued to oversee the growth and development of the WBFF until he retired from professional bodybuilding in 2012. 
Paul Dillett was a true giant in the bodybuilding world, known for his immense size and impressive physique. Despite a life-threatening incident at the 1994 Arnold Classic, he persisted and remained a fierce competitor for many years. Nevertheless, he never quite reached the top like other mass monsters, such as Ronnie Coleman and Dorian Yates.